Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to this beautiful and gorgeous day. As the sun is not shining today, it is shining upon you too, and upon all you as family and friends. As we gather here to witness the union of Elizabeth and Ben, they'd like to thank each one of you for being here today. And would like you to know that all of you are here because you played an integral part in the intertwining of their lives. Their day-to-day -day actions show how deeply and passionately they care for each other. They protect each other. They make each other laugh and think outside of themselves. They help each other in ways that are obvious and ways that are unnoticed, yet always appreciated. This occasion not only marks the beginning of their marriage commitment together, but a commemoration of the love nurtured and shared between the two of them. Together, they embark today on a new life built on a foundation of trust, compassion, and mutual respect. May I ask, who gives Elizabeth's hand in marriage today? Elizabeth gives herself in marriage to Ben with her family's love and approval. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Marriage is a sacred ceremony. Today, we observe the union of these two people with the respect that this occasion warrants. What we honor with reverence, however, we also celebrate with great joy. For married life, a shared life, is a tremendous blessing. Now, as Elizabeth and Ben embark on this journey together, they will be able to nurture a love that makes each of them a better version of themselves. Learn to work together, to laugh together, and to love together. Don't get caught up in worldly things that will draw you apart. Instead, focus on your shared devotion and turn inward. As your relationship strengthens, you will find that you come to share a remarkable love, a love that is both abundantly given and freely accepted. To say we aren't the most eloquent people was an understatement. We're not the biggest fans of corny, cookie cutter words about love. I resigned that part of me a long time ago and it was completely under the assumption that a day like today would never happen to me. And then I met you. You took me by surprise, you snuck up on me, and slowly I could feel myself starting to believe in all those things I didn't really believe in anymore. You were the best accents and impressions that I've ever seen. <laughs> I could be 100% myself with you, comfortable with you, and at peace with you. 
but most importantly, you inspire me to be the best person I can be every day. I vow to never give up on us during periods of growth. I vow to answer ourselves first the Roman. <laughs> I vow to talk louder because you are hearing will only get worse from here. <laughs> I love you and I'm so proud that I get to call you. You keep me laughing with your unique sense of humor. <laughs> and you give me peace and companionship that I didn't know I needed before. There's no other way to really say it other than you are my reason for everything. Every day, now, and forever. I could really use some stuff like that. For the people who don't like corny things, I don't know how else to say it, so maybe it's not corny, maybe it's just true. Talk to me. So Elizabeth, I promise I will love you every day, protect you when you need to be protected, help you when you need helping, and be your rock when you need it. I'll be by your side through all of our best days and worst, because I know you have and will do the same for me. I love you today, yesterday, and every day forever. That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning